Hello, TPG Tech Squad. <laughs> and welcome back to yet another TPG Tech Showcase. Today, we will be starting out with a strong showing from good old Dell and our first latitude of the series, covering its features and its appeal together. But before we start off, I really appreciate the tremendous support so far on our fledgling old channel. Every bit of your support that we get goes a very long way for the scope of our content and is greatly appreciated. So don't hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe to give your opinions on my content thus far. Now let's jump right into our machine of the day. The Latitude we will be covering is the Dell Latitude 7490 from my good old high school year of 2018. Granted, I could never dream of affording this laptop until now. <laughs> it's It was that expensive. This bad boy came to us quite a while back from our good old boys at the old eBay garden with a BIOS lock. BIOS locks in particular are a very annoying issue that uh, some people just don't even want to fix and uh, kind of sell off the computer instead, which is perfectly understandable because it's kind of um, a, a ridiculous thing to happen to you and it could be quite frustrating. So I have a video planned up about that with another amazing computer that I uh, don't want to quite spoil just yet, but just know that I will be helping you resolve any of those issues with BIOS locks and covering that in detail with that other computer, as well as covering it in another showcase. All right, then let me tell you about this computer in particular, as it is a freaking good contender for one of the best laptops I have ever had. I know I've said that quite a bit recently, but I'm being objective this time, darn it. This thing is currently running a Core i5-8350U, 1.7 gigahertz quad core processor, four gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, a 256 gigabyte NVMe standard solid state drive, a full HD display, one gigabytes of integrated Intel UHD graphics 620 with Windows 10 21 H1 home as the current version of the Windows uh, for this video sakes. Uh, it's currently updating for Windows 11 for another video that I will be doing. This thing's connectivity options are personally what takes it all to a whole nother level for me personally. If you haven't watched my previous showcases, I like to have in my computer with some weird superfluous connectivity options that I can constantly have to remember what exactly they have they freaking do all the time and why they're there. I don't know, and this laptop is kind of comfortably provides that to us, boasting one HDMI 1.4 port, one universal headphone jack, one RJ45 port, one multi-card reader, one USIM port, three USB 3.1 ports, one display port slash USB type C 3.1 connector, one smart card reader, and a good old noble wedge lock just for, you know, just to add it in there. I used a fat lad, I used the fat latitude E series in high school. So I might just have a latitude bias for, you know, for using the fat latitude all the time. But, but granted, who wouldn't want a computer with this many features in such a small package this time? The USIM is what actually blew my mind at first because it is the absolute first time I've ever seen or worked with one on a computer uh, in, in all of my refurbishing career or career working on computers in general at all. Except for phones because, you know, they're, they're phones. They, they, that's kind of their thing. But sadly, it was missing the darn tray, so I couldn't test it out. So if you do purchase uh, this 7490 from us, make sure to let me know how that goes. Specs-wise, this thing is an absolute beast on user bench. Compared to our HP we previously covered, excluding the fact that I accidentally left Windows Update on in the background while the CPU test was running, but that didn't even really kind of kill its performance that much at all. In conclusion, if you're looking for a long-running, decently specced out computer that makes you look like a professional every time you put it out, uh, this particular latitude is always going to be highly on my recommended list due to you absolutely getting a good bang for your buck.
As always, this computer will be available on our stores on Macari, eBay, and Facebook. Due to the ridiculous fees involved with eBay and Macari, which I, I personally don't, I think they're killing themselves, I would rather recommend you guys use Facebook Marketplace Store instead, as the fees are virtually non-existent, and you'll be getting our best prices. And alright then guys, that's all out of me today. Catch you on another one of my vids. Peace out. Hey, glad to see you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out, and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. TPG out!